Let's put my face onto someone else's body. Did you know that you could actually combine two images into one? That's right, Eric. Specifically what I'm talking about is face swap. You can use my face too. Don't forget to subscribe. So let's say for example, you have one image over here and one image over here. You like this face better, but you like the aesthetics, the surroundings, and the background or the outfit better on image two. How could you possibly combine two of those images, both of those images into one perfect image? You can, and today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that within Mid Journey itself. Let's get started. And it's very simple to do. For some amazing prompts, Click the link in the description. I'm actually going to use this utilizing Leonardo AI, but you can do the same thing in any other app. In fact, I use all three. I use Leonardo AI, Midjourney, and Adobe Firefly. So what you could do is actually take an image that you generated. You could take any of your favorite images and then combine it together. And within Midjourney right now, you can go ahead and do what's called a face swap. You could take face number one and move it over to face number two. And now face number two has face number one's face. This isn't my real face. Watch this. It's very easy. I'll show you exactly how to do it right now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find your featured image. Your featured image is going to be the image or the person or face that you want everything to kind of resolve around. So as you see on my screen right now, I actually made this in Leonardo AI and I'm going to go ahead and call this model Ava. Okay, so I made Ava in Leonardo AI with this prompt that you see on your screen. You can find this prompt in the description. Now, speaking of prompts, I'll also have a link in my description for that prompt in addition to many other prompts that you can access. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a feature model I want to use. With that said, we're going to go back to Leonardo AI. And so I have my Ava model right here. Which one do I want to choose to actually be my featured model? Meaning I want her face to be the one that's going in every other image that I'm going to pull up. So let's go ahead and use this one right here. We're going to make this one our main featured prompt. And so after I download it, I have her over here. I'll click to open this up and then there we have it. There's Ava. We're actually going to be able to do a face swap and put it on any body in any environment. So for example, I have Ava right here. Let's go ahead and say, I want to go ahead and put her on her face right here. And that's exactly what I did. Now to keep in mind, this face right here used to actually be an image that kind of resembles Eva Longoria. So over here on the left hand side, we have the real Eva Longoria. And now the one over here on the right hand side, this is the one I actually used to make Ava. I simply put Ava's face into this Eva Longoria type AI model. And so I'll show you exactly how I did just this. The first thing we want to do is find our target images. So again, remember, so the featured image is going to be this one right here, which we call Ava. And then the next thing we want to do is find our target images. So what a target image is, is going to be a series of images we're going to upload and we're going to be able to put Ava's face in any of those target images photos. So for example, I'm going to take an image of Ava that we made in Leonardo AI and I'm going to put her image on another model's face. Now she might have blonde hair or she could even have brunette or black hair. Now what you want to keep in mind is that when you're getting your target image, the hair color won't change. So here's what we're going to do. So for my first featured image, I'm going to go ahead and put a face swap into this image right here. And I'll do a few of them just to kind of show you guys exactly how it works. So what you're actually going to want to do is come on over over to Discord and you're going to actually want to make your own Discord server. Very simple. We'll do that right now. That's what I did over here. That's called AI Influence Face Swap. We're going to go ahead and do it right now. I'll start from scratch. So all you have to do is over here on the left hand side, just hit this plus button and it says add a server. Go ahead and select create my own. And then you can just select for me and my friends. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and name it something that we can always remember. We're going to just call this something simple face swap. Okay. Face swap is the name of my private server. Okay. And then hit create. And then there you have it. It really is that simple. Now you have your own personal Discord private server. Now, here's what we're going to do next. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is click the link in my description to a GitHub link. And when you click the link in my description, it's going to actually take you to GitHub.com. Scroll down until you see the link to the Discord server. It's going to be right under the headline step by step. Okay, right when you see the actual photo right here where it says Insight face swap. Okay, so here is the link right here. So once you're in the GitHub link, go ahead and now select this link for Discord. It's going to automatically open it up in Discord right here. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to say add bot to server, create commands in the server, go ahead and give it all of the permissions. And then right here, you're going to add it to your server. We just made the server called face swap. See this add to server. And we're going to go ahead and select the one we just made called face swap. Go ahead and click continue and then go ahead and authorize everything to happen. And then there you go. Verify that you're a human, give it a couple seconds, and now you're in. Go to face swap. Boom, there we are. Now we are in the brand new server you 
made called face swap here it is on the top left hand side fs and then if you go over here on the top right hand side you can see that now insight face swap is now active and online in your discord server so perfect we have that set up right now so we're in the face swap server here's the next thing you're going to do and this is where it gets very fun now the next thing we're going to want to do is down at the bottom you're going to type in slash save id okay see this save id and then just go ahead and name your model so in this case we named her ava let's go ahead and do the same thing okay ava once you have ava selected don't hit enter yet you're now going to drag in your featured image remember the image i showed you earlier today i made in leonardo ai the one image we want everything to kind of resemble around now take that image and all you're going to do next is just simply click and drag it within that box okay remember that's the one that we're making okay i'm going to click this image and I'm going to go ahead and just drag it down here in this box, okay? Once you have it dragged into that box, all you have to do is just hit enter. And now you have your save ID saved. Ava is now a face swap saved ID. Now the cool stuff really begins to start. Now your next step is to type in that slash command. And now you're going to type in swap ID, okay? Do swap ID. And now this time, you're going to just simply type in your model's name. Here we are, okay? Ava. And now we have Ava typed in. Now you want to drag in your target image. So actually, the image that you want to put Ava's face in, just like this. So now, remember what we talked about earlier. I want to take her face, this image right here, and I'm going to put Ava's face in hers. So I have that in there, and I'm ready to go ahead and drag her image over here. Now watch this. Once she's dragged in here, go ahead and hit enter and watch this. Boom, look at that. Now it puts Ava's face in that model right here. Let me show you one more. I'll do it again. Okay, now do the same thing again. Hit that swap ID. We're gonna type in Ava again. Okay, now let's drag a different image in here. Now this one's really cool. Let's go ahead and put Ava's face over here in this Game of Thrones one right here. Let's see if this can work for us. Okay, there's Ava right here. That's who we're gonna be putting in that. I'm gonna now click and drag that Game of Thrones image I made over here and then hit enter. Let's see if it could put Ava's face into this Game of Thrones image right here. There we are, not bad. Let's do one more. Again, swap ID, type in your model's name, click and drag an image over there one more time. I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. Okay, I'll click and drag her. Okay, so check it out. Here's how we made this. So over here on the left-hand side, that's the original image. In the middle is our new face swap. On the right-hand side is Ava. Okay, so you could see here that it put Ava's face over here in this image. Now, the one thing I told you to keep in mind is that it's going to maintain the same eye color and then the same hair color. So you want to keep that in mind. However, let's do another blonde person just to show you guys. Okay. Now look at this one. Here's another one we did over here on the left hand side is the original one. You could tell how she has more of a, her lips aren't quite as big. And then you can see over here, she has more of a, like a rosy, she has more of like a rosy softer cheek appearance over here on the right hand side. So the middle one is our new one with Ava. Okay. And then here is one more we did right here. Here's the original one. Okay. And now here is the new one with Ava, the face swap, pretty good job. And then here's another one I actually made earlier today. This did a fantastic job again, pretty darn close. Pretty happy with this whole entire thing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Remember, now keep in mind, the eye colors will stay the same and the hair will also stay the same as well. The main thing that's gonna really change is just the face, the facial features and structure. That will change 100%. It's pretty cool and it's pretty cool how far this AI has come. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, We'll see you next time.